building a bag of circus tricks. This week on New Victory Arts Break. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Uh, I'm Hasiem, I'm a teaching artist at the New Victory Theater. I love the chat, but I'm kind of in a hurry. What's that? Oh, you, you wanna know what's in my bag? I, I don't know, you see this is my bag of circus tricks and I normally don't show anyone what's inside, plus I really gotta catch this bus. <sighs> okay, I think I have a couple of minutes, so how about we make a deal? I'll show you three tricks from my bag. The only catch is, whatever I show you, you have to do too. Do we have a deal? Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Uh, uh, um, uh, nope. Oh. Uh. Oh, looks like object balancing is up first. We aren't gonna use a chair though, at least not yet. We'll start with something all of you have at home, like uh, <laughs> this broom. <sighs> Let's go. When it comes to object balancing, shorter objects make the trick way more difficult. So a longer object like this broom is a great place to start. First, we want to place the handle of the broom right into the palm of our hand. Next, we wanna make sure the broom is completely vertical. Once you think you have it in a proper position, you can let go and immediately begin to move your supporting hand in order to keep the broom balanced. Once you think you have it mastered on your hand, you could balance on your foot <laughs> or even on your face. Ooh, okay. Let's see what trick is up next. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> tumbling. Now, just like object balancing, we'll start with something a little easier, like uh, cartwheels. For this next trick, all you need is some space and focus. First, we get into position. So we wanna begin with one foot in front of the other. For me, I'm gonna start with my right foot in front of my left. Next, arms go up overhead. Now, whichever foot is in front, that same side hand will touch the ground first. So, if my right foot is in front, my right hand touches the ground first, then my left. Next, I hop onto my left foot, swing my right foot around, and I finish facing back the way I came. Next, we begin to invert the cartwheel. So, each time I do it, I'm going to kick my legs a little bit higher. until eventually my legs go all the way overhead, just like that. As you practice this movement, you may wanna have a parent or a friend spot you from behind just to make sure you don't fall backwards. Here we go. Okay, let's see what our third and final trick will be. Hmm. Oh no, look at the time. I'm gonna miss the bus for sure. Alrighty folks, it looks like for our third and final trick, I'm gonna have to disappear. Hey again, I made it to my destination right on time, thanks to our final trick. Now, as we know at the circus, there's always a little bit of magic. So for this final trick, you'll just need a sheet and a little bit of space. You'll want to set yourself up in a doorway or even in a hallway where there's a room you can slip into. We're going to lift our sheets up nice and high, way above our heads. Next, you'll give the sheet a big toss. And before the sheet hits the ground, you're going to quickly slip to the side. Remember, you want to give the sheet a nice clean toss to give the illusion of disappearing. Go ahead and give it a try. See if you can convince your family and friends that you have magically disappeared. Today, we covered just three of the circus tricks that I keep in my bag. Further down in this arts break, you can find even more circus tricks to add to your bag. 
Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. See you next time.